Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is video number 22nd uh, in the series AZ900 with Piyush. This is the last tutorial of this series and after that I will be publishing one more video about all the tips and tricks related to Azure 900 that would be pretty handy in the exam. So make sure to watch the video till the end and also try to attempt the knowledge checks at the end. So without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's talk about monitoring tools in Azure. First one is Azure Advisor. As the name suggests, it evaluates your Azure resources and provides you recommendation to help you improve reliability, security, performance, helps you achieve operational excellence, and helps you reduce cost. The important thing to remember here is this Azure Advisor service just provides you recommendations based on your existing workload. It does not take any action and you have to take the further actions to correct and to implement those recommendations. The next one is Azure Service Health. Well, Azure Service Health is a dashboard that shows the service health and health of your deployed resources. Service health as in overall health of the Azure resources as hosted in the Microsoft Data Center. It comprises of three components. The first one is Azure Status which shows the status of Azure services globally and if there is any outage or the service is healthy or not. The next one is service health. It focuses on the Azure services and region that you are using and not the global resources. And then we have resource health, which shows the health of your cloud resources, such as your virtual machines deployed on Azure and whether it is impacted by any outage or whether they are healthy as per Microsoft. You can even set up service health alerts to notify you when service issues, plan maintenance or other changes may affect the Azure services and region you use. And using Azure Monitor, you can also configure alerts to notify you of availability changes to your cloud resources. So whether there is a resource that went from healthy to unhealthy due to a service outage or not. So these type of alerts you can set easily using Service Health Alert and Azure Monitor Alerts. Now let's have a look at Azure Monitor. Well, Azure Monitor can monitor Azure resources on your on-premises and even multi-cloud resources like virtual machines hosted with a different cloud provider. Data is collected from a various source such as on-premises server, cloud infrastructure and networks and then it is stored in multiple central repositories such as metrics, logs and traces. This data is then used in several ways. You can visualize the data using tools such as Azure Workbook, Grafana, Power BI and dashboards. You can also analyze the data using tools such as Log Analytics and Metrics Explorer and create real-time alerts and take necessary actions on those alerts such as auto scaling groups and other actions. Additionally, you can integrate with different services such as Event Hub, Import Export APIs and Logic Apps to perform some further actions. In a nutshell, the Azure Monitor is a platform for collecting data on your resources, analyzing that data and visualizing the information and even act on those results. Well, time for the knowledge check. So make sure you take the screenshot of this page and try to answer these questions. Let me know in the comment if you face any difficulty in answering those or if you want to share it with the community, feel free to do that. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this video was also somewhat beneficial to you in understanding the concept of AZ900. If you think it added some value, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing the channel if you are new here. And make sure to watch the next video as well in which we'll be discussing a lot of tips and tricks to clear AZ-900. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.